we were certain from the beginning that it's clearly not a bit of a kind of Victorian fishing boat. You know, it's much older than that. The kind of analysis is pointing us in the direction of, of 17th century, which is very exciting, the 1600s. If it does turn out to be from that period, then there's only nine recorded shipwrecks in Scottish waters from that period, so that makes it extremely unusual. So it's really, really exciting. It's a hugely important find, and we're all really thrilled that we've been able to, to help the island of Sandy to kind of look after it while they figure out what they want to do with it. And also, we are, of course, profoundly grateful to the National Heritage Memorial Fund for the financial support to build this tank and do this work today. So the fantastic tank behind us has been built by Water Pump Group uh, in Kirkwall. Uh, it's made out of stainless steel, 7 metres by 5 metres long. So the idea is that it's kept in fresh water, which will start the desalination process, which is important. It's the first sort of part of the conservation process, um, which would have to happen anyway if the timbers were to be fully conserved. But also it allows them to stay in good condition, to stop them breaking down too much, as we try and do the work to date the ship and to understand the significance of the vessel, if we can, which is then sort of the next stage um, of the work after this. We covered it over with black plastic and uh, every every week or ten days we had to try and get the cover back and, and hose it all down just to keep it wet and check that it was all OK and cover it back up again. He's so pleased to get this tank because it's going to save that job over winter and we won't be constantly checking the weather forecast trying to find out when there's going to be a fit day to try and water the wreck, as we called it. All summer long they've kept it, they've been unwrapping it, soaking it again yeah. while we've been having this tank made and getting the money to, to, to do it and then bringing it to the island. So now hopefully they can breathe a huge sigh of relief um, now that they don't have to do that every day because it's all going to be sitting here in this water.